In this video, I'm going to tell you my personal top 10 tips and hacks of Google Slide. So let's get started. If you quickly want to set up your Google Slides presentation, my first tip will be to use themes. Towards the right, you see you have list of themes which are available from Google Slides and you can select a particular theme. If you don't see this option, what you can do is you can just go to your toolbar and you see you have an option of theme. At this moment, let me just select this particular theme because this is a plain simple theme. I can just add my title and let me just add my subtitle, tutorial brain, all right. And now for some reason, let's say that you don't like choosing a particular theme. And let's say that you want to start a Google slide presentation all about dogs. And for that, what I can do is first, let me just create a new slide. So this is my new slide. Now I want to create the first page with respect to something about dogs. So what I'll do is I'll just go to tools, go to explore. So this is my tip number two. If you don't like themes, go to explore. And here you can just search for, let's say cute dogs and go to images. You see the list of dogs. Let me just choose the first one itself. Let me insert it and just click on this back button. Again, click on this back button and again you are here. You see you have a lot of layouts to choose. Now let's say if I choose this particular layout and I can just add something that is let's say. All right, let's say that I want to add another slide. What I can do is I can just come here and normally what you do is you just give control C and then control B. But this is not good. In fact, there is a better way and this is my tip number three. What you can do is you can just give control D. So if I just give control D, you see you are easily able to duplicate this particular slide. Now again, go to layout and you can change anything. For example, I like this. So I'll just change here and I can just write the text. For example, all right, I've just added random things. Now for some reason, you don't like this text. So the better way is that I'll give you four websites using which you can convert your boring text to amazing text. For example, you can just go to this flamingtext.com and here you can enter the text. For example, in this case, I'll just copy this. That is dogs are lovely. I'll just copy this and paste it here and I'll just click on this get started. And now you see that it will create a very good image or logo. All right. So what I have to do is let's say I like this. I'll just copy this and I'll just drag it here. And you just see in just a couple of seconds, I'm able to get this particular title. In the same way, another website is cooltext.com and you can select a particular design from here. Let's say you want this particular design. You click on this and here you can just write something like this and just click on this create logo. And you see it has created this particular logo, right? And now you can just take this logo and add it to your Google slides. Another website is textfx.co and the next one we have is maketext.io. So out of these four, you can choose a particular website and you can convert your boring text into amazing text. All right, with this, let's move forward. And this was my tip number four. My tip number five is to use transitions. So let's say if I just close this explore button because it is not required now. Now to add transitions, what I'll do is I'll just go to slides and you see you have an option of transition click on this and you can apply transition for example let's say if i just give slide from right and i'll just try to play it you see this is how it will look so if you want you can apply to all the pages for that first just stop this and click on apply to all pages click on this and this particular transition is applied to all the pages now let me just close this and the next tip, that is tip number six, which I want to give you is that use presenter view. So you see at the top, you have presenter view. And while giving presentation, if you want to check your notes or if you want to interact more with your audience by having a Q and A session, you see you have presenter view. And if I just click on this, you see this is the presenter view where you have lot of tools which you can use. All right, so there is a separate video which I have created about presenter view. If you want, you can just check that. 
So at this moment, let me just close this. I just wanted to tell you about this presenter view and this is my tip number six. Now for some reason, let's say if I just come back, if I just press escape in my keyboard. Now let's say that for some reason I have added a list. For example here, so these are all the features of dogs. And let's say if I just add this and I'll just add a bullet point. Now you see that this particular bullet point looks boring. Now to improve this, what you can do is just select the bullet point, just give right click and you have more bullets option. Just click on this and you have different symbols which you can choose from. And for example, let's say I want to select emojis and if I get a particular dog image, I can choose that. So these are all cat images and let's say if I just choose this. Now if I just choose this and now you see that instead of plain bullets, I have this dog image or I think this is cat, right? So this is cat image. My next step is step number eight, that is five plus three, eight. So in this step, what I'm going to show you is let's say you don't want to use any boring presentation from here. There are pre-made templates which are available in few websites. For example, if you just go to Slides Mania, you see there are a lot of templates which are available and you see if I just come down, I can download this particular template or I can just open it in Google Slides. So if I just click on this, let's say open in Google Slides and now you'll notice that this particular template will be opened with my Google Slides and just click on this use template and I can use a pre-built templates from Slide Media. In the same way, you have other websites, for example, Slides Carnival or Slides Go and so on. And by the way, I'm also trying to add few templates on our website that is tutorialbrain.com. So what I'll do is I'll try to add around 100 templates which will be available for you to download freely. All right, let's come back to our tips and let me just close this and we were here. Now my next tip that is tip number nine is to use animated GIFs. For example, let me just create a new slide and if I just go to insert, if I just go to image, let's say if I just go to search the web. So in Google Slides, you can add image either from your computer or you can give a URL or from Google Drive or Google Photos and so on. Or you can just search through the web, in fact. And here, let's say if I just give dog and you can select a particular GIFs. Let's say I want to select this, click on insert. And here you can just add a title, for example, funny dog. And if I just say, let's say yawning, right? In fact, he is not yawning, but we have written something here, okay? And my next tip, that is tip number 10, is to use masking. So here, let's say you have this image and you don't like in this particular layout, that is in square format or rectangle format, what you can do is, you see here you have mask image option. Just click here and you have various shapes which you can choose. For example, let's say if I just choose this particular shape, now you see I'm getting this particular shape where it is like a star image, right? So you can change the shape. Again, if I just come to my shape here, let's say I can choose another shape. For example, I'll just choose this heart image. Now you see this particular image will come up for this particular GIFs. Now, since you have stayed very long for this video, I'm going to give you two bonus tips. The first one is tip number 11 is that you can publish your presentation to the web. For example, if I just come here and you see if you just come down, you see you have an option of publish to the web and either you have a link or you can just create an embed code and you can use this embed code to attach this on your website. So let's say if I just click on this link, I can choose the default option. That is, let's say if I want to advance every two seconds, I can choose that. And you have various options, for example, start and restart. I'm not going to touch that. You can just click on this publish button. And you see, if I just click OK, it will give me a link. And if I just come here with this link, now what will happen is that you have published your Google Slides presentation on the web. So you see, if I just click on this particular button, I have these many slides and even I can advance from here. Or if I just click on this play button, automatically this will move based on two seconds which I have provided. All right, so you see automatically it is moving. And let me just come back here. And my next tip, that is tip number 12 will be, I'll just close this and 
I'll suggest you to install some add-ons. For example, go to add-ons and you see I have installed a lot of add-ons and some of the add-ons which are very popular or which I would suggest you to install is for example icons for slides and docs. So to install any add-on you don't have to do much you just have to go to add-ons and you have to come down click on get add-ons search for the name of that add-on and click on install that's all. Now let's come back and here few of the add-ons which I want you to install is extensive font which contains a collection of very good fonts and I was talking about icons for slides and docs this is also a very good add-on and then you have insert icons for slides so these three add-ons I want you to try using the icons add-on you can add a particular icon based on your choice right so this is also a very good feature in Google Slides. So that's it in this video if you want to have a complete tutorial on Google Slides you can just see in my playlist we have covered a lot of videos and tutorial on Google Slides. So that's it if you like this video please make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and please make sure that you share this video to your friends and family. Thank you.